Hello, welcome to handsonerp.com. This is Hassan Mir. Before we move on with uh, further implementation of accounts payable module, uh, we need to understand the payables accounting. You have already taken a tutorial on accounting fundamental uh, in general ledger modules category, but it's time that we revisit few concepts of accounting and uh, look at accounting from payables perspective. It is very important that you have you should have taken that tutorial okay if you have not please you know close this tutorial right now and uh, go to the accounting fundamental tutorial in general ledger category take that tutorial once or twice you have to have the basic accounting knowledge before you take this tutorial okay otherwise this tutorial is not going to make much sense to you so I'm assuming that you have taken the basic accounting tutorial, you know debits and credits, you know the assets liabilities, the tin earnings concept, you know revenue and expense concepts, okay, you know the accounting equations. Uh, so let's move on with uh, payables accounting. <coughs> okay, so this is a really, really uh, a quick recap of the accounting concepts. Uh, this is the accounting equation which remains balanced all the time in an ERP software because this is the uh, uh, this is the responsibility of of an ERP software to make sure that this equation remains balanced all the time. If it's not balanced, that means there is a data corruption. If you are entering uh, valid journals, then this uh, equation will remain balanced all the time. Okay. <coughs> now, when I say valid, it means technically valid. That means each journal has uh, debits and credits equal to each other, okay? And th if that journal makes sense or not from business point of view, that is your problem. That's not ERP software's problem, okay? Uh, now, assets minus liabilities always remains equal to retained earnings, okay? And expenses and revenue accounts are part of retained earnings in the sense that each year, at the end of each year, you empty all all the balances sitting in expense and revenue accounts and you transfer those balances into retail earnings account because if your business has made money expense revenue minus expenses is the net profit right if your business have uh, made money then uh, that that profit would be basically gifted to the uh, the shareholders okay the retail earnings represent uh, the interest of the owners in the business okay so the interest of the owners would increase if they have made money if the business has uh, made uh, losses then of course the interest of the owners in the business would decrease okay so assets are the <laughs> are the things of importance that uh, the owners own uh, sorry the business owns okay and the liabilities are basically uh, the loans and any kind of borrowings that this business has uh, against some external entities now <coughs> having said that the important thing is that you understand when you debit an asset account you are basically increasing that asset account in value okay so if uh, if you do enter a journal where you debit an asset that means uh, the asset is going in increasing in the value for example if you say asset uh, like vehicle uh, uh, ac account debit and cash credit that means the value of vehicles in the company I is increasing okay and your cash is credited so that means cash is decreasing now just always remember one thing that this is only true for assets and expenses okay if you debit an expense that means you're saying your expenses have are increasing in value and if you debit an asset that means your assets are increasing in value that just remember that so everything else is opposite okay now <coughs> that means if you debit a liability that you're saying it liabilities are decreasing in value as we're going to see pretty uh, as shown in the next example when you debit revenue that means you're decreasing revenue and value same thing to the retained earnings okay so just remember that just a quick recap okay now we're gonna take a look at uh, payables accounting